Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Get right with you. I'ma get right with you. Bad bitches, fuck up, then dismiss them. Bad. Woo. I ain't really here to take no pictures. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another wig review on this wig that I am wearing right now. And this wig is the Magic Lace Curve Part Lace Front Wig. And this is what the model looks like. And yeah, at first I wanted the tangerine color because, um, but they were all sold out so I opted for this color. And yeah, this is in the color, was it, DX, no, DYX4 Lime. So that's what this color is right here. It doesn't really remind me of a lime color. This is more of a like highlighter yellow color if you can tell like this is some bright hair like brighter than I expected but I still like it I have pros and cons to this unit and I will get into that in a little bit but let me take it out of the um, hair bow so you can see it down this is what she looks like down yeah this is a lot of yellow bright hair this is like highlighter yellow and where's my comb so I can comb her out oh here it is <laughs> all right so I'm going to comb her out for you this is what she looks like combed out she is a shutter like she sheds a lot. I don't know if you can see that. This is some of the hair that comes out. Here's my band-aid. I cut myself trying to open the box to get to the wig. So yeah. But this is what she looks like. It is super soft hair. She does have a shine to her. And she is more on the synthetic side. So this isn't like really um, realistic hair like look and feel to me it's not so yeah that's a con is that this is more of a synthetic looking wig and for the price I was hoping that it would have been like more real than this because this is like I think like 40 something I got it from Sam's Beauty so yeah this and this is what the parting looks like it looks better on camera but yeah you can tell it needs to be plucked it needs some work to it and that is what it looks like and as you can tell it goes from like I think it's like a kind of light black color it's not really black but yeah it goes from that color into the lime color <laughs> more of a highlighter yellow and it is not the same color or that um, ombre color throughout the wig so yeah it's just at the top and then it has that at the bottom and yeah, she's still like shedding and stuff. Um, I like the wig because the color is unique. It's different. It's like um, if you want to be out there, this is one of those out there wigs. It kind of reminds me of the Kylie Jenner or the K. Michelle um, wig that they wore. But yeah, um, it was a lot brighter, as I said before, than I expected. But yeah, I think I like this wig. It says that... Actually, it says that um, it is iron safe up to 360 degrees, so you can straighten this or curl it. I think I may try curling it and see how she does, but yeah, um, as far as this wig, I think I liked it the way I had it before, like, pull it back. Let me pull that back in a hair bow real quick. I think I like it pulled back more because then it's less like in your face not like the hair but like the color wise because it's a pretty bright wig so I think like if you have it pulled back in a bow it um kind of takes away from all the brightness I just get on my face but yeah it takes away from the brightness so that's why I had it back pulled back and I do need to pluck the wig and I might try curling her and then come back and see hopefully I do a good job with that and um, yeah I will show you the results of 
curling her, but as of right now, I think I do like the color. I do like the wig. The wig isn't bad. It just needs like obviously some plucking and maybe some dry shampoo if you don't like the shine to it. But as far as the feel for the wig, it is not like on the realistic side to me. And that's why I'm like kind of debating if I should get the tangerine color because I don't want it to be the exact same like texture as this one. It's just more like a silky texture. I was hoping like it would be, like I said, real, more real feeling. I don't know if the um, more realistic colors would be better and more um, actual hair feeling and not so synthetic feeling. So yeah, I'm going to probably try and wait and see um, someone review the tangerine one before I try to like go get it because you know, I don't really like the synthetic, synthetic wigs. So yeah, this is more on the synthetic side, but if you like the color, yeah, go for it. Like it is a pretty color, it is bright. So if you're like that type of person, this wig is for you. But yeah, that's about everything. Oh yeah, the cap let me tell you about the cap i think it's more big head friendly because um i'm not sure if you can kind of see the lumps because i have a small head surprisingly so the cap is lumpy because when they did the um adjustable straps sometimes i don't know why they like sew the adjustable straps closed so i can't really adjust it the way i had i normally do so i had to kind of like overlap it one to the other side and one to the other side so that's why the cap is so lumpy so I'm guessing that this cap is a big head friendly cap so yeah um, just be aware that if you have a larger head this will probably be perfect for you and hopefully you don't get like a defected one that's sewn shut so you can adjust it properly instead of having it like bulk over but yeah I think there's like two combs that come right here and then a comb in the back as usual so yeah this is about it on this wig it was oh yeah and it was a lace front so you will get to cut off the lace that comes with it so yeah this is my thoughts on this wig and yeah i like it and i don't like it it's like um it's a hit or miss it depending on what you like and what you prefer but yeah this is my review and i hope that you like this review please comment like and subscribe and thank you for watching have a blessed day Flash. middle finger up for the system fuck em. yeah poop is robotic i ain't touching nah looking at your hoe because she bussin yeah Woo. riding in that coop with the wings yeah. going to your land with them chains